The Book of Jubilees is not in the Bible, and I suggest if you find this interesting, check it out. I'll leave links below. Always ask the Holy Spirit for discernment into if this is something from our Father in Heaven or not. Personally, I find this bit very interesting. The Bible depicts humans living much longer in the days of Adam and Noah, and we know we don't today. Some people say this is proof that the Bible is not true. This chapter talks about why it is so. I will be reading from the book Enoch Jubilee's Jasher, Banned from the Bible, edited by Joseph Lumpkin. He makes some notes in parentheses that I will read because it is easier to understand, but I will link to another translation if you want to follow along and check out the differences. A jubilee is either considered 49 years or 50 years. In the book of Jubilees, it is 49 years. Chapter 23. He placed Jacob's two fingers on his eyes, and he blessed the God of gods, and he covered his face and stretched out his feet and slept the sleep of eternity, and was gathered to his fathers. In spite of all this, Jacob was lying in his embracing arms and knew not that Abra Abraham, his father's father, was dead. Jacob awoke from his sleep and realized Abraham was cold as ice, and he said, Father, Father, but there was no answer, and he knew that he was dead. He arose from his embracing arms and ran and told Rebekah, his mother, and Rebekah went to Isaac in the night and told him, and they went together, and Jacob with them, and a lamp was in his hand, and when they had gone in, they found Abraham lying dead. Isaac fell on the face of his father and wept and kissed him. Ishmael, his son, heard the voices in the house of Abraham, and he arose and went to Abraham, his father, and wept over Abraham, his father. He and all the house of Abraham, and they wept greatly. His sons, Isaac and Ishmael, buried him in the double cave near Sarah, his wife, and all the men of his house. And Isaac and Ishmael and all their sons and all the sons of Keturah in their places wept for him forty days, and then the days of weeping for Abraham were ended. He lived three jubilees in four weeks of years, one hundred and seventy-five years, and completed the days of his life being old and full of days. For the days of the lives of their forefathers were nineteen jubilees, and after the flood they began to grow less than nineteen jubilees, and to decrease in jubilees, and to grow old quickly, and to be full of their days because of the many types of hardships and the wickedness of their ways with the exception of Abraham. For Abraham was perfect in all his deeds with the Lord and well-pleasing in righteousness all the days of his life, yet he did not complete four jubilees in his life when he had grown old because of the wickedness in the world and was full of his days. All the generations which shall arise from this time until the day of the great judgment shall grow old quickly before they complete two jubilees, and their knowledge shall forsake them because of their old age, and all their knowledge shall vanish away. In those days, if a man lives a jubilee and a half of years, they shall say regarding him, he has lived long. And the greater part of his days are pain and sorrow and hardship, and there is no peace. For calamity follows on calamity, and wound on wound, and hardship on hardship, and evil deeds on evil deeds, and illness on illness. And all judgments of destruction, such as these, piled on another, illness and overthrow, and snow and frost and ice, and fever and chills, and mental and physical incapacity, and famine and death and sword and captivity, and all kinds of calamities and pains. All of these shall come on an evil generation which transgresses on the earth. Their works are uncleanness, and fornication, and pollution, and abominations. Then they shall say, The days of the forefathers were many, lasting a thousand years, and were good. But the days of our lives, if a man lives a long time, are threescore years and ten, and if he is strong, fourscore years, and those evil, and there is no peace in the days of this evil generation. In that generation the sons shall convict their fathers and their elders of sin and unrighteousness, and of words of their mouth and the great wickedness which they perform in concerning their forsaking the covenant which the Lord made between them and him. They should observe and do all his commandments and his ordinances and all his laws without departing either to the right hand or the left. For all have done evil, and every mouth speaks sinfully, and all their works are unclean and an abomination, and all their ways are pollution, uncleanness, and destruction. The earth shall be destroyed because of all their works, and there shall be no fruit, seed, of the vine, and no oil, for their actions are altogether faithless, and they shall all perish together, beasts and cattle and birds and all the fish of the sea because of the children of men. They shall quarrel with one another, the young with the old and the old with the young, the poor with the rich, the lowly with the great, 
and the beggar with the prince because of the law and the covenant, for they have forgotten the commandments and covenant and feasts and months and Sabbaths and jubilees and all judgments. They shall use swords and war to turn them back to the way, but they shall not return until much blood has been shed on the earth one by another. Those who have escaped shall not return from their wickedness to the way of righteousness, but they shall all raise themselves to a high status through deceit and wealth, that they may each steal all that belongs of his neighbor. And they shall name the great name of God, but not in truth and not in righteousness, and they shall defile the holy of holies with their uncleanness and the corruption of their pollution. A great punishment shall come because of the deeds of this generation, and the Lord will give them over to the sword and to judgment and to slavery and to be plundered and consumed. And he will arouse the Gentile sinners against them, who have neither mercy nor compassion, and who shall respect no one, neither old nor young, nor any one, for they are more wicked, strong, and evil than all the children of men. They shall use violence against Israel, and shall violate Jacob, and much blood shall be shed on the earth, and there shall be none to gather the dead, and none to bury them. In those days they shall cry aloud, and call and pray, that they may be saved from the hand of the sinners, the Gentiles. But none shall be excluded, none shall be saved. The heads of the children shall be white with gray hair, and a child of three weeks shall appear old like a man of one hundred years, and their work and worth shall be destroyed by hardship and oppression. In those days the children shall begin to study the laws, and to seek the commandments, and to return to the path of righteousness. The days shall begin to grow many, and increase among those children of men until their days draw close to one thousand years, and to a greater number of years than before age was recorded. There shall be neither old man, nor one who is aged, for all shall be as children and youths. All their days shall be full, and they shall live in peace and in joy, and there shall be neither Satan nor any evil destroyer, because all their days shall be days of blessing and healing. And at that time the Lord will heal his servants, and they shall rise up and see great peace, and drive out their adversaries. The righteous shall understand and be thankful, and rejoice with joy forever and ever, and they shall see all their judgments and all their curses enacted on their enemies. Their bones shall rest in the earth, and their spirit shall have much joy, and they shall know that it is the Lord who executes judgment, and shows mercy to hundreds and thousands to all that love him. Moses, write down these words, write them and record them on the heavenly tablets for a testimony for the generations forever.